They wouldn't have done a white person like that. Those are words that I'm sure are being spoken in black barber shops, beauty shops, nail shops, church, text messages, social media. They would not have done a white person like this. And I agree. If you don't know what I'm referring to, I'm referring to the murder the lynching of Tyree Nichols at the hands of black police officers in Memphis. You see, y'all, Many people, many black people have accepted the notion of white supremacy. There are many black people who are agents of white supremacy. And over the last month couple months we've been seeing that crystal clear you see uh in the midst of uh the attacks on hbcus as it relates to these black celebrity coaches like Deion Sanders and Ed Reed. I posted something to the effect of, I got to fight against white supremacists and black white supremacists too. And some idiot on Instagram going to come in under that and say that doesn't exist now i don't know if they were talking about why the notion of white supremacy doesn't exist or if they were trying to act like a black person can't be a white supremacist i'm here to tell you all right now whatever the case is that's bullshit. it's bullshit. this nation was founded on and built on the notion that a white person's life matters more than that of a black person. It was built on that. Go back and read the documents. Read books about the so-called founding fathers. Read their quotes on topics of race. But I'm here to tell you, there are many black people in the past and in the present who accept or accepted the idea that they themselves are inferior to white people. And through their actions, they perpetuate that notion as well. These police officers are, a, are an example of that. They are. Because again, I say, 
they would not have done that to a white person. Nor should they have. Let's not get it twisted. I'm not advocating for black police officers to, to, to beat on and murder white people the way white police officers do black people. What, what is baffling and enraging is that you would hope that, that when we get in these positions of authority, that we would see our own people's humanity, even when other races don't. That's the whole thing that people are talking about. Hey, if we can get our communities to be policed more often by people who look like us, maybe they come from our cultures, they come from our neighborhood, that this type of shit won't happen. But there are some. Hell, there are many who don't view their own people as their own people. Either when they get that money, as we see with these celebrities, or when they get these authority positions, as you see with these damn cops. They separate themselves into a, another caste, another group. And they settled on the fact that I can't be who the white man is. But I'm not you. That's how they view the average black man and woman. They say, I'm not you, though. So you black, but I'm a black cop. So I'm different. How dare you run from me? I haven't watched the video. I don't watch shit like that. I can't watch shit like that. I didn't watch what happened to George Floyd. I can't watch shit like that. If you down with me for real, for real, you know I've been there. I've been attacked by the police. But even before that, I couldn't watch shit like that. I stay away from civil rights movies and all that kind of shit. I only watch it during my career to teach my babies, my students. I don't watch it for prep for class. Can't just watch no shit like that. I carry that shit with me all the time anyway. If y'all frequent my channel or my videos or my social media or you know me personally. You know, I carry that kind of shit around with me all the time. And it's so fucking tiring. And it's so fucking enraging. Cause we send up here. The folks that are supposed to be the ones that help us make it. They don't value us either. They've, they really put themselves into another class of people. That's the only way you explain what's in that video. 
And again, I didn't watch it. But when I have one of my youngest text me and say, Pops, they beat the fuck out that man. And they fucked up behind that. I know what's in it. When I see real ones on my timeline speaking the way they're speaking, I know what's in it. When I uh, um, read a quote from Tyree's parents saying they, they beat my child to a pulp, I know what's in it. And unfortunately, I know the mindset that led those cops to do that. That I'm a cop. You're not. How dare you? I'm going to teach you a lesson. And when I write it up, it's going to be legal. I was in the barbershop years ago. Probably a decade ago. The topic came up about pedophiles in our schools. And as black men tend to do, everybody had their opinion. in the barbershop. But one of the people there was a cop, black cop. And he stated, if one of them teachers up there at that school ever try something with my child, I'm going up there. And what I do to him ain't gonna be legal. But when I write it up and turn it into my boss, it will be. That shit stuck with me. To hear that come out of the mouth of a black cop. For him to think saying that shit was okay. It was disgusting. Now I think about that, it had to be well over a decade ago. Motherfucker said that shit not too long after what had happened to me in 2007. That's when I got attacked by the police. And that's what they did. It happened to be a white cop, but it's the same behavior. Motherfucker attacked me. I defended myself. Then they wrote it up like I approached them in a threatening manner. That I walked up on the policeman with CDs in my hand. Because I'm passing them out to people outside the party. Then I'm going to see a cop who's bigger than me. I was 165 pounds at the time that I flex at a cop who's bigger than me, who has a gun and a nightstick that I'm going to say, what the fuck would I do that for? But like that black cop said, when I do it, it won't be legal. But when I turn it into my boss, it will be. Those men had different skin colors. The ones that attacked me, none of them were black. A black officer was out there, didn't he didn't strike me, but he didn't get the motherfuckers off me, from what I'm told. All these guys black. 
but the mindset was blue. We see it. This idea that black people are substandard and black institutions are inferior, that black run businesses are inferior, that black neighborhoods are inferior, that black culture is inferior. We see this idea permeating right now, festering and spreading all on social media. You hear it in the comments of Deion Sanders. You hear it in the comments of Ed Reed. You hear it in the comments of Emmanuel Acho. You hear it in the comments of Jason Whitlock. That's all from the sports world. Black men who attain wealth and notoriety either through their athletic achievements or through covering sports. But they've separated themselves from the black masses. You hear it in the comments of Kanye West. He separated himself from the black masses. You see it in the actions of these fucking killers who did this to Tyree Nichols. They are black, white supremacists. They believe that a Black life does not matter as much as a white one. They believe there are more dire consequences that happens when you treat a white person wrong than when you treat a black person wrong. And they think they can more readily get away with their wrongdoings when they do something to a black person. It's exhausting fighting white supremacists and black white supremacists. Exhausting. It's exhausting battling their defenders because they too have accepted white supremacy. But I won't get off here without offering some hope and some inspiration. To you real ones, love yourself. Love yourself. I'm talking to all my real ones, my black people out there, as well as our, as well as our allies. For our allies, lift up your black brother and sister. Because we need you. It's some of y'all out there who are true allies that love and respect us more than some of our own people. So lift up your black brother and sister. You feel me? But for my real ones who are black, no matter where you are on God's green earth, take pride in who you are. Teach your children to take pride in who they are. To every single night before my children go to sleep, I give them what I call the speech. They know that I give you the speech. And I say, night, night, sweet dreams. Daddy loves you. You are the greatest. Thank you, God. Night, night, sweet dreams. I make sure that in the middle of that, I tell them, you are the greatest. 
Often I make them repeat it because I know they live in the world because I know they live in a world that will try to tell them otherwise. Hell is already trying to tell them otherwise. But I want them to hear that from their father. I want them to know that your father is a great man. One of the greatest men. And I'm saying that you are the greatest. And my hope is that my children will stand firm in that and love themselves and also love their own people. So I'm asking you, do the same. Cloak your children in self-love and tell them, not. don't be selfish. Don't separate themselves from the people. Don't view the people as a separate cast of humanity just because they accomplished some or just because they got some job title, just because they went and got some money. So tell them not to separate themselves from the masses, not to act like a job title makes them better, not to act like their money makes them better. Their stature, their fame. None of that makes them better. Because that motherfucking uniform does not give anyone the right to murder somebody else. And you would hope that your own people get that. But clearly they don't. Clearly many of them don't. It's not all. But for those of you who get it, those of you who are in positions of authority, those of you that have attained wealth or stature, you better check these motherfuckers who are on this dumb ass shit. Where they're being policing, where they're being banking, where they be in the educational field, where they be in uh, the healthcare field. Wherever you see it, call it out and root it out. We can't do it from the outside. God damn it, you in it. If you're a real one, you call it out, you root it out. Have the courage to do that. Please. See, it takes courage to do what I'm up here doing. I know motherfuckers been attacking me for daring to speak ill on some of these celebrities that's been on this white supremacist bullshit. These black folks been on this white supremacist bullshit. And I've been calling their ass out. And I know they've been coming for me. I don't read the comments, but I know they've been coming for me. I got enough common sense to know that. But I'm going to use my voice. God gave me this. I'm going to use my ability to speak. God gave me this. I'm going to use my ability to think. God gave me this. And I'm going to use it for righteousness. Whatever position you're in, use it for righteousness. And have the courage to call out our own. Who have accepted and who are perpetuating the false notion of white supremacy. Long live Tyree Nichols. And God bless all the real ones. One. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?